Hi guys. Today I thought I'd talk about the Udu. Uh, this is their quad core version. Uh, it's got the Freescale IMX6 quad core with the GC uh, Vivente 2000 uh, graphics processing unit. At the top you'll see that there's um, Arduino Do pinout configuration up here. So for all your projects you can wire that directly just as if you would an Arduino. Here on the front we have a U micro USB OTG and then we have HDMI gigabit USB 2.0 and then audio out microphone 3.5 millimeter. Here's the uh, the MIPI for their cameras that they sell and the SATA and SATA power LVDS and the DCN and their fan header. That battery backup for the real time clock and then power and reset and this is their USB out and then their 802.11n Wi-Fi module. So um, I'll show you specifically. Uh, they they have a cord option, so you can get all the cords necessary to hook up this board. The links will be down in the description. Today I thought I'd install the operating system and show you specifically what it looks like to have Ubuntu installed on this. All right, here we go. Okay, so. Here's what you're presented with. This is the actual Ubuntu, one of their distributions that they provide. One thing that I noticed is, is that they have a Udo configuration tool, um, and it's it looks well polished. Also, I noticed that uh, transparency is working. The interface looks nice uh, below and above here. Uh, Wi-Fi shows up. Uh, they also have Scratch and uh, Arduino IDE prepared uh, allow you to change your password and all this this is all presented in an easy to use uh, utility change remote desktop password expand file system uh, to full disk max capacity so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that first click OK the root partitions resize to 31.4 gigabytes the file system will be enlarged in the next reboot Click OK. Um, actually cancel, let it close, and then I'm going to do the re reboot so you can see how fast it reboots. And it's it's pretty quick, so it just takes a, a couple seconds to come up. So it finished resizing. Well, there it goes. It did make it. So it took it a while to boot afterwards. It uh, looks like it's going to come up just fine. There's the boot. It also comes pre-installed with Chromium, which is good. We'll see how well hardware acceleration works. And here's the Arduino IDE. Okay, first we'll check for tearing and ghosting just to see how it looks. Move the window around. It does a pretty good job on refresh rate. Um, go into applications or look at accessories. This is what you have for accessories. Education. It's got Scratch installed. Graphics. Internet. It's just Chromium. Office. References as the Arduino IDE there inside development sound and video and system tools. If you look at the Wi Fi, it shows Wi Fi fine, seems to work with 802.11n devices successfully. Um, you look at the browser compatibility. So this is the browser compatibility check. Um, this is at html5test.com. It scored a 388 out of 555 points. This is not uncommon for ARM devices. I'll just scroll down and let you see what the circumstances are. It's 
all I have today, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Facebook group, Linux Development Boards, or my subreddit, Linux Boards. Thanks, guys, and have a good day.